Hi, this is Charlie Page, owner of the Directory of Ezines, and I want to share with you 10 ways to build your mailing list faster. Now, let me ask you this. Is the money really in the list? You've heard that so many times. The money's in the list. You have to have a list of your own. Well, you bet it is. It absolutely is true. The money is in the list and what you do with that list. Name a successful online company that doesn't have a mailing list. I can't do it. After 15 years online, I literally can't find a successful online marketer or company that doesn't use email marketing well. And that begins with having a mailing list. Having your own list is powerful because you can serve more people. You can get their ear. You know, you can put all this information out into the ether all day long and you don't know if it connects with people. But when you have a mailing list, you can see how many people open, how many people click, and you can measure how effective you are being by those types of measurements. And meeting people's needs is the name of the game. You know, Zig Ziglar said it so well, you can get everything in life you want if you'll just help enough other people get what they want. That's kind of the bottom line of having a mailing list. You can ask subscribers what they need and get it for them. And when you do, they'll buy it from you. You never have to buy advertising again when you have an active mailing list of your own unless you really want to. And most of the time, if you have a mailing list and you're buying advertising, you're doing it to build your list. Because if you have a list, you know that the people on that list are valuable. Not only because they hear you and because you can serve them, but because that's the core of your business. You can build your influence, you can do joint ventures and more. But to profit from a list, you have to have a list in the first place. And that's what stops most people. So how do you build that list? That's the question. Here are 10 ways that you can build your list fast. I do each one of these, I teach each one of these, and they absolutely work. Number one, you really have to have your own blog. If you don't have a blog, you're getting left behind in today's world of content marketing. The days of having a squeeze page and making money by placing an ad and sending traffic to a squeeze page, those days are long over. That's just a diminishing return anymore because there are too many of them out there. It worked in 2006. It even worked in 2009, but it doesn't work anymore. Not the way it used to. All successful online businesses have blogs and you can too. If you need me to help you build your blog, visit me at charliepage.com. Go to our products page and you'll see my blog building service. So point number one is you need to have your own blog. Now happily, this is very easy to do because WordPress is free and easy to install. If you have a hosting account, if you have a, a domain name and a hosting account, you can absolutely build a blog yourself or you can have a guy like me build it for you. And whatever you prefer, Definitely have your own WordPress blog. That's the name of the game. Number two, you want to have an opt-in form on the home page of your blog. I'm going to show you some examples as we go. Let's take a look at Neil Patel. You probably know Neil Patel. He's a very famous online marketer. And here is a screenshot from his blog. Now look at the top right-hand side. From aha to something I blanked out. I'm sharing everything on my journey to 100,000 monthly visitors. When you click that orange, teach me how to get 100,000 visitors, you can join his mailing list. This is one of his biggest list building tools. Here's one from uh, Backlinko, which is an excellent website for linking and SEO and things like that. This big old form appears at the very top of every blog post. Sign up for exclusive traffic tips. It's pretty straightforward. All he wants is your email address, and he'll give you the same tips he uses to double his traffic in just two weeks. This guy's great, and his site's great, and this is a really powerful list building tool. So it's the front page of his blog. Same thing with Neil Patel. I do the same thing on my blog. Point number three, an opt-in form under every blog post. Now, I want to be clear about this because when I talk to people about this, they sometimes think, oh, I have 100 blog posts. I have to go put a hundred forms in there. There is technology you can get like Thrive Leads that will make this automatic. Thrive Leads is not the only one, it's the one I use. So you can set this up to where every blog post you do automatically has an opt-in form under it. This is one of the best positions now for list building is putting an opt-in form under your blog post because people have just read the blog post, they like it and they wanna get more. 
Now we'll go over to Michael Hyatt's website. Michael's a great guy. He used to be the head of Thomas Nelson Publishers, and now he's an online marketer. And this is the box you see underneath all of his blog posts. If you like this post, sign up for blog updates and never miss a post. Just put in your name and email address. In his case, he's got a little prove you're not a robot thing, and you're on his mailing list. And what will happen is he'll send you an update every time he posts to his blog. Number four, blog content upgrade. Now, this is something maybe you've never heard of before, but if you're a blogger and you're producing content and not using a content upgrade, you may be missing out on a really wonderful list building mechanism. A content upgrade looks like this. We're over at Lead Pages blog now, and you see the arrow that points to the free guide, 42 proven lead generation ideas. Well, when you click that, a little box is gonna pop up where you can join their mailing list and they'll send you the lead generation ideas. Now here's the trick. They're taking this post and condensing it down into a bulleted list checklist type thing and that is the guide they're offering you. So you see they're not creating new content. What they're doing is they're taking the content they already have in the form of a blog post and they're consolidating it down into a one or two page thing and giving you that for free when you join their list. So it's a wonderful way to build your list. More importantly, it's a wonderful way to segment your list. And by segmenting, I mean finding out what people who are already on your list really want. We'll cover that in a few minutes. Number five, drive traffic to content. Now, most people think driving traffic is buying ads or doing some kind of SEO or doing some kind of social posting or even free ad posting and sending that to a sales letter or to a squeeze page. Again, that used to work and it can work now if you're doing enough of it, but driving traffic to content really is the name of the game. Here's a fact, people need to trust you before they buy. Even if you're an affiliate marketer, they have to trust you, your recommendation, before they're really gonna buy a product. And content does that, blog posts, articles, videos like this one, webinars, things like that. Content does that because it gives before it expects to receive. Of course, that's the golden rule, right? And that is one reason it works. It invokes reciprocity. You do something good for people, they have a tendency to want to turn around and do something good for you in return. And that could be joining your list, could be buying a product. So you want to drive traffic to content every time you can. Number six, a cold traffic system. And don't be worried when I say system, that doesn't mean it has to have 50 moving parts. This really can be a very simple thing. But the fact is, there are types of traffic. We're used to thinking about traffic and types of traffic like pay-per-click versus solo ads versus SEO. But there are different types of traffic than that. There's cold traffic, there's warm traffic, and there's hot traffic. Now, this video isn't about traffic, so I won't go too deeply into this, but I'll just say that cold traffic are people who don't know you. They're hearing about you for the first time. Warm traffic are people who know something about you, but they don't know you very well yet. They don't really have that trust relationship. And then hot traffic, that's people who know you, who trust you, and they've expressed a need, so you're in an op you have an opportunity then to sell them something. Most people make the mistake of trying to sell things to cold traffic on the first visit. Now, here's the mistake, what it looks like. You're an affiliate for somebody and you uh, buy an ad and you send that traffic to a sales letter where a person's asking for the first time visitor to spend $400, $600, $700. That is very, very difficult. Cold traffic, people who've never heard about you, never don't know anything about you or what you're promoting, generally aren't gonna be spending big money right up front. People should be warming the traffic up with content before asking them to buy. That's really very important. If you're getting cold traffic, placing ads, doing posts, things like that, where people are hearing about you for the first time, and you really wanna offer them a solution after you've warmed them up with some high quality content, help them solve some of their needs. You can set up an email sequence for first time subscribers. This is how you warm up cold traffic. You set up a little three or five message email sequence that establishes trust. It tells people who you are. It 
share some of your blog posts. It gives value. That's the name of the game. The way you convert cold traffic, strangers, into acquaintances, warm traffic, is to give value. And you let the reader decide what happens next. This is the essence of permission marketing. Number seven, a warm traffic system. Now you know a little bit about how to set up a cold traffic system. You send that traffic to your content. You get them on your list. You send them a welcome message and say, here's who I am. Here's how I can help you. Now, how do you warm them up? Well, you need a warm traffic system. Once they're warmed up, a warm traffic system is for people who know you. They know about you, but they don't really know you very well yet. They don't really trust you. So you want to set up an email sequence that offers them a free gift. That's really simple to do. Just send a few emails offering them a lead magnet. And then rather than putting them on a new list, you tag them or you mark them as being in interested in one particular area. And then you send them content that helps them solve a problem. The act of them asking for the lead magnet, that indicates what their need is. So let's say you've got Jane on your list. She's a cold traffic person who you, you get her from an ad you placed. Now, rather than send her to some sales letter and say, spend $1,000 with me, much better to get her on your list and introduce yourself and say, hey, here's who I am. Here are a few blog posts I've written that you might like. Here are a couple of tools that I recommend. And then ask her what she needs. Warm her up with information, with time. And then after she's been on your list for a little while, she's received a few messages, offer her a free gift, a lead magnet. If she takes it up, that indicates that she needs something. Because here's the thing, if Jane is interested in discount travel, she's not gonna take a free lead magnet or gift about golf. She's gonna want that lead magnet about travel. We'll save the hot traffic part for another video because this video is getting a little long. This is about list building and I really want you to focus on building your list. Having a list is freedom, it's very powerful. Number eight, use a squeeze page. Squeeze pages are good. There's nothing wrong with squeeze pages. If you're using a squeeze page with cold traffic, make it a compelling offer. It's really got to be a powerful offer. And then over deliver on your promise. That's how you turn cold traffic into warm traffic by establishing trust by over delivering your promise. And then your automated warm traffic system that we talked about a few minutes can go uh, ago can go to work. If you use a squeeze page, always use a pop-up on exit. I see that mistake all the time. Definitely want to use a pop-up on exit because most people, the majority of people, are going to leave your squeeze page without opting in. Number nine, a video on YouTube. Video is powerful. Video is the killer app now. People love video. And there are so many videos out there and yet they're searchable and so people can find what they want. Video is where it's at and it, you can make them even if you never want to appear on camera. I've never appeared on camera once, probably never will. But video is very important. People love it and it's easier to do than ever. I'm making this video on a laptop using Keynote and a program called ScreenFlow. I mean, it's just as easy as possible. And it's also easy to outsource now. Back a few years ago, it was hard to find somebody who would make a video for you who weren't, wasn't going to pick your pocket. You can use a site like 48hourvideos.com. That's who I use, 48hourvideos.com. He does a great job and his costs are incredibly good. I mean, it's a very good price. You can outsource your video creation to him. He'll write the script, do the whole, the whole nine yards. Number 10, social media from your blog. Here's the thing. It's really hard to keep up with everything we have to do, right? And social media posting is especially hard. You have to, you have Twitter, then you have LinkedIn, then you have Instagram, then you have Facebook. And how do you find time to post to all those places or read all that stuff? Well, you can automate the process by posting to your blog once and then having it appear on your social accounts automatically and repeatedly. This is very powerful and not many people are using it. You can use technologies like Buffer. Buffer is like $10 a month. You can use Meet Edgar or CoSchedule. CoSchedule is what I use. And what this does for you is it will repeatedly post to your social media accounts from your blog content. So you create the content once and then you post over and over again. Now when I say repeatedly Post. I'm not talking about every five minutes where you're spamming. I'm talking about on a schedule that you set up.
It automates your social media posting, and that is a beautiful thing. And it does it from your already existing blog post. So you do the work once, and you profit many times. If you know me very well, you know that's kind of my motto. If you like this, you can get more information like this at charliepage.com. I'd love to see you over there. Love to have you join my mailing list. Leave a comment on this video. Give me a thumbs up, that type thing. We focus on three key areas with our clients. Driving traffic, building lists, and making sales. Today's video, obviously, about building lists. So do visit me at charliepage.com. Thank you for your time today. This is Charlie Page, and I hope you have a wonderful day.